Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's episode we are going to take a look at one of Arch Linux's biggest advantages which is the Arch User Repository or AUR. So Arch Linux generally has very good official repositories with uh, cutting edge versions of uh, software in it so they are always trying to include the latest stable and well-supported version in their official repositories but there is the possibility that maybe you need the newest uh, version from the source code for some software for some purpose or maybe some software is not packaged in the official repositories that you need uh, and you need that software and so I already have a video about how to make your own package based on some source code or some files if you don't find something in the repositories but the AUR can uh, support you in a way that if someone else already needed that software and made a package for Arch Linux they can share it in the Arch user repository and so there are some submission guidelines there so these guidelines are trying to make sure that the packages that get into the AUR are um, up to some standard and can be used um, appropriately by any Arch user. And so the managing of these packages from the AUR is a little difficult by hand. So today we are going to take a look at the AUR helpers, which are basically trying to help you make the use of the AUR more intuitive. So if we take a look at the AUR helpers page on the ArchWiki, there is this red box greeting us that AUR helpers are not supported by Arch Linux and you should be familiar with the manual build process if you want to use the AUR, which is something we already looked at in a previous video here. But so basically we will take a quick look at this again so if you go to like a general linux subreddit or some general linux forums not the arch hardcore arch users uh, forums then you will find a lot of people who just use uh, either uh, pamac which is actually the graphical package manager for manjaro and a lot of people use yay which is also a Pac-Man wrapper. So of course for both the graphical and, um, package managers and both the Pac-Man wrappers, we have a warning that this can lead to um, broken system or defective system through uh, inappropriate operation like Pemec, for example, is a standalone package manager. So it is not even just a front end to Pac-Man, it is a uh, a front end to the same back end that Pac-Man is a front end to, if that make, <laughs> make any sense. And so Yay is a Pac-Man wrapper, which is written in, well, um, Go. And so that one lets you use the official packages from the official repositories with the AUR packages together, which is uh, Pac-Man wrappers abstract the work of the package manager. So they may optionally or by default introduce unsafe flags or other unexpected behavior leading to a defective system. So these are not um, not just not supported, but even you know there is warning against the use of these software. And so if you go on to a general forum about Linux and you tell the users there that you know that using Yay or using Pamac is not really uh, conforming with the best practice of Arch Linux, then this is a good way to get a lot of downvotes and, you know, get start a flame war. And so what we are going to take a look at is the AUR utils uh, script collection, basically, which is uh, giving you the AUR packages in a local repository. And so this one seems to be uh, something that a lot of the hardcore Arch users use, so we are going to install that. And for that we need to, of course, click on this link to go to the AUR page of this package, and we will need this git clone URL, what URL, 
and uh, you have to copy this with a control C or whatever your uh, copy um, shortcut is. And so I want to show you that I have a folder in my home directory with all these packages from the AUR. And so I will um, just clone the uh, repository here for the AUR uh, utils. And for that, we need to go to our uh, console. And I will have to git clone and use the middle mouse button to paste. And so it will just download the stuff from the AUR so we can now cd into AUR utils directory. And if we do ls la, we can see that we got the install script and the package build, which is the most important thing here is we should take a look at the package build script. Maybe we can have done it with Wim and then yeah, we would have a, let's just do it in Vim to have syntax highlighting. So what we have to take a look at, we can see some basic information of the package here. So the build script is basically just uh, changes directory into the package. And then we have the packaging script, which will just make the package. So you should always take a look at the package build script before installing anything from the AUR. So, you know, no um, funny uh, delete commands are here, like removing your home directory or something like that. So once we have did this, then we can give the command uh, so before I go, so for the next step, I have to tell you that, so we use the git clone command, so we should uh, check pacman-qo and I will ask pacman, what have I done? Which uh, git? So it is, you need the git package for the git clone. So the base devil group is what will contain the, all the tools if we, that you will need to actually make a binary package. So once we got that, so you have to install that of course from, these are in the official repositories. So unlike the AUR helpers, the helpers are not in the official repositories because they are, yeah, they are not supported by Arch Linux. So if you could take a look here, all the AUR helpers are in the AUR, which is uh, supposed to uh, keep you away from using the AUR without being able to build the uh, package from the AUR using the git clone or just cloning and the make package commands. So of course there are ways to go around this, like uh, you can add like a uh, a repository from someone who made the binary for the AUR helper, like a lot of people install yay that way, so they never actually install anything directly from the AUR manually. So we are going to make package and make make pkg make package dash s dash i, and you should not run this command as root because it will ask for your password during the installation because the script itself contains sudo when it needs to. So you can see that these uh, packages have to be downloaded first and installed from the official repositories for us to be able to build this, uh, this package from the AUR and you can see it is finished and now it is actually doing the uh, building process, compiling our um, our package and wow, one or more PGP signatures could not be verified. That's a bummer. So let's uh, take a look at what the hell is the problem. So here if we take a look at our uh, file manager and we can see that 
Well, the package has not been made, like this source directory is empty, because there was a problem with the PGP, or what GPG signature, and so if we had looked at the pinned command here from like a long time ago, then, well, this is what the problem, how the problem can be solved, and so we can just import this key with this command, so just copy this command and uh, well we can always check of course what the rtwiki link says here. So uh, signature checking in implemented in make package does not use Pacman's keyring instead of relying on the user's keyring. So yeah this is the problem, I don't really understand how the sign signing things um, are working exactly, so you know you have to decide if you trust this here that you you should import this key. So let's uh, just go back to our console and add this command. And let's see. Okay, I guess let's try the make packet make package dash si and okay now it asks for our password again so you can see here that it is going to install the package so it's all it has been uh, prepared for us and we can enter our password and it will install this package for us in the system and now if we go back to the file manager here we can see that this AUR utils dash two dot three dot three dash one has been prepared for us. The source directory is now here, and of course, um, package directory is also here. So we can see that these are the directories and files that has been packaged into this dot package dot tar dot xz file, and now. AUR utils the Pacman or what uh, the um, AUR helper is now installed and we can get the man AUR command to get our uh, summary of our the manual here first and then we can see all these nice commands that are available. Okay, so looking at our manual for the AUR utils, then we will have to create a local repository by editing the um, pacman.conf file, for example. And let's uh, do just like that. So for that I need to assume the root identity. I also will need vim and I will edit etc slash pacman.conf well, of course it prompts for my password and so we can just um, take a look at how you know here the core the extra and the community official repositories are there and they are using the mirror list and then so here we can just create our custom package what a simple uh, thing to do, we just uncomment these lines. I will use my own uh, home folder, nice micro slash bin slash custom packages. That's gonna be my um, server, my repository for that. And uh, so we will have to create these repositories. So first let's just uh, press colon W and Q if you are in Vim to save the file. And uh, and so now that the file has been edited we can add the repository or create the repository by sudo install dash d slash home slash Nice micro. Of course you have to use your own username, your own home directory or whatever directory actually you want to use. I am using the bin 
slash custom packages custom pk pkgs and then dash o and then user uh, with full capitals like dollar sign user and so let's press enter and now if we go to the file manager i can show you that this directory has been uh, created there and so next step we have to do is we have to repo add and that will be of course again home nice micro bin and then custom packages and we will create a custom dot db dot tar file to hold the uh, repository database no packages remain creating an empty database that's perfectly fine and so we can basically add uh, any packages we have in our that we already made uh, already created AUR packages we want to add to this custom repository we can do that so let's uh, try by going to CD and what are my directories here also okay so let's uh, try free file sync for example so we will have to go to the uh, custom packages uh, custom package oh. Oh, one one back cd dash dash and i have the uh, custom packages here and here i can do repo dash add dash n custom dot db dot r and the other one will be uh, dash dash slash aur slash um free file sync dash and now i have to cheat and take a look at my file manager about uh, what's in the uh, free file sync and this is free file sync dot something okay so i will just assume that yeah the tab completion finds the file and let's press enter okay so now the database contains that package so, for example, I would like to install the Amarok music player from the AUR, which is uh, only available in the AUR. So, let's uh, take a look how can we how can we find this using this package uh, this uh, this AUR helper. So, we will type in AUR and then search Amarok and it will take some time because it has to go through the um, internet here and you can see that there are a lot of packages containing the name Amarok but fortunately the first one that's still on the screen is what I am looking for so we will try to install that so we can use the AUR sync command to try to install packages so let's just try area sync ama rock and it is using custom repository and found ama rock all there and is now retrieving the package files and so here we can see what are the files that have been uh, downloaded so we can press Q here and then now it's cloning into Amarok and now it is building the packages it is uh, now doing the um, compiling and now it want me to enter my password so let's do that and Phone on QT VLC, that's going to be okay. And it will <laughs> bring to, with itself a bunch of dependencies. So let's just uh, 
and I'll give it a thumbs up to proceed. And these are dependencies that can be found in the official repositories. So these are the dependencies we are getting from there. And so we can also take a look at the file manager in the uh, meantime. So you can see here that we got this uh, taglib extras file downloaded. This is a, a package which is a dependency of Amarok but is only in the AUR. So you can see that uh, this script solved this problem for us. So let's uh, just take a look at uh, Firefox for a minute for the page of the Amarok software. So you can see that these are all the dependencies, well, especially like more dependencies, but this taglib extras is only in the AUR. So you can see that other dependencies are in the official repositories, or you can go uh, with dependencies that are in the AUR if you want a more up-to-date version or some alternative uh, version for those dependencies. You can do that. But this one, taglib, is only available in the AUR, and we can see that it has been resolved for us automatically. So you can see all these things being installed from the official packages. And so let's uh, wait until it uh, does this. And so now that we <laughs> downloaded and installed all that overhead, we can install a few more build dependencies for building this uh, Amarok itself. So now we are downloading stuff needed for Amarok and we will compile that software now. And we will have to wait until that finishes. So let me pause the recording again. Wow, this is a long process. Yeah, so maybe you don't want to build everything from source. <gasps> yeah, I don't know how people using Gentoo deal with this. Okay, so creating updated new database file. So I guess I need to uh, give my password. So something... What happened here? Okay, so there is nothing to do. Why? So I'll have to see that this package has not yet been installed on our system, which we can pacman q and uh, so search for grep amarok, and you can see that there is nothing there. If I say dash QI Amarok, then pack this package is not installed in our system. So, how can we install it for our uh, packages or, or for our system from this database? Well, it's going to be sudo pacman dash S Amarok, I guess. And you can see that uh, Amarok is now, because it's in our repository, we can install it. And now it is probably installed on our system in... And yes, so if I show you my horribly cluttered uh, screen here, so... Sound and video Amarok is there now. So we managed to install this program using Pac-Man after we built it in with this uh, with this uh, AUR helper. So let me show you my file manager, and here are these two packages that exist. And now. So we can use the AUR repo dash L command to list out all our 
uh, packages that are in this custom uh, database and we can also check if anything is updated there using the dash u command and this will give us that free file sync has a newer version and of course then we can just use the aur uh, sync command to free file sync to create the new upgraded package and we can basically update that package from the AUR and so if you install actually uh, what is in the so you, this is just lists the files for you and so you can just press ctrl c and uh, and uh, abort but if you actually have uh, so the man AUR will um, no, sorry, man aur dash sync is going to be the manual for this. And you can see that if you have vimfm, vi, vifm, sorry, vifm file manager, then they will be used instead of just listing the files with less dash k. So there you can uh, check the contents of those files. Okay, so let's uh, just try it really fast. If I install vifm and let's install vifm and let's see how things work out okay so now i will have to do aur sync um what was it free file sync now we are waiting for response from the AUR database so okay so retrieving package files and this is VIFM now we can actually oh just enter press enter and it opens the uh, file in vim so i can check the package build in vim if vifm is installed so i strongly suggest you to install uh, vifm if you want to use the this um, AUR helper. So after we made the new package for our custom repository, it will still not be in the Pacman database. So if we just type in the AUR um, repo L command, then we can see that it has the new version of course but if i just type in pacman sl custom to check the custom uh, database we can see that this version has not been updated in the pacman database and for that we need to synchronize with pacman syu and this will of course synchronize all the databases from the internet too and then after that it will also synchronize our custom database and you can see that now it pulled on the new version of free file sync and so after pressing y for this it will install the updated version the same way as it installs the updated versions from the internet when it founds those so this is going to be the end of today's episode so now we learned how to uh, use a um, good aur helper that won't screw up our system and does not uh, take control away from our hands and let us handle AUR packages separately from the official packages but still gives us some conveniences compared to just manually installing with make package so if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel check out the playlist and if you have any comments, questions or suggestions for future videos, then leave a comment down below and I will see you next time. Bye bye.